Hello Pisces, mighty, mighty Pisces. This is Renee and welcome back to my channel. And uh, if you're new, welcome. Please like and subscribe, hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And not all my readings are gonna resonate, but if they do, um, please make sure to share and comment below. And if they don't, take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity in your situation. Okay, my mighty Pisces. Okay, Pisces, this is your love reading for January 1st through the 15th. In this reading, we're going to cover your current energy and love. We're also going to look at who's coming in for you or what is coming in for you. How open you are to receiving love at this time. And also we're going to look at any challenges and then take some advice. Okay, Pisces. What do we have for Pisces for January 1st through the 15th in love? Okay, I feel like this one. Mother, Father, God. Okay. Pisces, are you thinking about starting a family? Are you spending time with family? Transformation. You're going through lots of changes. And forgiveness and understanding. Yeah, I feel like you're going through healing, Pisces. You're going through some kind of transformation. Um, and this may be due to a situation. I feel like you're... You're finally at that stage, Pisces. I feel like you're at the stage where you're ready to settle down. You really want a family. You really want someone who's going to be long term. Someone who gives you stability and someone you can rely on in the good times and the bad times. <clears throat> See, we have the Two of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords. Okay. The Lovers. The Chariot. Okay. Wow. Okay. The Four of Cups. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the strength card. We have the two of cups right underneath the lovers. And we have the wheel of fortune. Wow, Pisces. Wow. Very strong energy. At the bottom, your current feelings, Pisces is the Ten of Swords. So I feel like you're going through a very dark time at the moment. You're going through some kind of transformation. You may have just ended something that meant so much to you and now you're moving to something new. I feel like something is over and it's giving way to something new. Remember Pisces, if something ends, it just, just leaves way for a new beginning. We all have so many endings and new beginnings. It's just a part of life. It's just the way it's built, you know? Yeah, with the with the uh, Ten of Swords, you have the Hangman. You also have the King of Swords. You have the world. Okay, so I definitely feel like you you've learned a lot of hard hard lessons um, in 2022 and I feel like you know <clears throat> I feel like you you struggled through them but you made it you had strength enough to to make it be proud of yourself that you endured Pisces Right now, I feel like you're trying to gain your balance. You're trying to get your strength back from your situation. 
you're in this stuck energy because you want to have a new beginning but maybe you're not quite sure how that's going to happen you're not quite sure when it's going to begin I feel like you're you're stuck you're stuck you want a new beginning but you're not sure how it's going to happen but no Pisces that that is the beginning that is the beginning of being unstuck is wanting to be unstuck and you have new love coming there's new love coming towards your way new love is going to step to you they're going to try to communicate with you in a very strong way with this ace of swords energy this is communication this person is going to communicate with you their their love interest you have the lovers the two of cups the strength card the the chariot the the wheel of fortune this is all great change moving in your direction and this is this is love that's coming forward for you this is love that wants to communicate their intentions to you they want to communicate their intentions to you they want to make a move they want to they want you to be assertive be accepting accept their invitation they may invite you on a trip they may invite you to um, go someplace with them just take a ride just drive just go for a ride with me just drive with me just ride you know and I feel like I feel like you're cautious this person is coming through I feel like you're cautious like you're not sure you're not sure Pisces you're kind of feeling them out you want to know if you're sure first before you even put any energy into this but I feel like Pisces you need to be you need to be fearless be fearless don't hold your guards up don't make yourself unavailable to love don't set such high boundaries that no one can get through usually Pisces you have such a playful such a beautiful nature and I'd hate to see you lose that and make yourself unavailable because of something that you've been through. Don't let go of that playfulness, of that silliness, of, you know, um, the way that you carry yourself, Pisces. Pisces are very free spirits, but they're also very caring and very giving. So yeah, be fearless, Pisces, because love and comfort and friendship is coming. I feel like this person, this person may just want to hold you. They may just they they may also be a kind of person that likes to hug. I feel like this person that you're meeting, they may be a hugger. <laughs> they may be someone who likes to hug goodbye, likes to hug hello. You know? And I feel like they're very I don't know, they're just that kind of person. But this person is gonna totally change your life something is coming in that will change everything this is definitely a new beginning tell me more about this will of fortune and this chariot spirit tell me more about this will of fortune and this chariot Eight of Pentacles. Okay. This may be someone that you meet at work. 
if you if you do work for a living this may be someone that you meet at work or someone that's an acquaintance of who you work with okay the judgments okay but this person this is definitely a new beginning definitely something new and something strong with all of these major arcanas you have the lovers the chariot the strength the will of fortune the judgment very strong message that this is this is definitely a new beginning with the judgment card popping out here this is something that's going to be long term this is something that you've been waiting for this is something that's going to resi revive your spirit and your heart and this is someone who wants to make a future with you they want to make their plans they want to travel see the world have new experience they want to explore new journeys new wow this is someone who wants to experience everything with you someone wants to make a future very interesting yeah they want you to lay down your burdens they want you to be free of any burdens any pain any anxiety they want you free from all that yeah <laughs> this may be an Aries that's coming in it could be any sign there's a lot of signs here we have Gemini we have Cancer we have Leo we have oh wow we, we have basically all the signs here but Aries is popping out to take control Aries is popping out to be courageous be assertive this this person wow this person it also be maybe another Pisces when I think of the moon I think of Pisces and I know your card is the high priestess but man when I think of the moon I think of Pisces I feel like you're showing up Wow very strong message Pisces very strong message <clears throat> this Emperor is coming in to just take control of your heart and I feel like they can do that in the best way possible this Emperor is assertive he's aggressive in a good way he knows exactly what he wants and where he's going and he can take control and take action at any point you know I also feel like this person may be a little bit older um, it doesn't have to be a lot but I feel like this person may be a little older they may be a little wiser very interesting what advice do we have for Pisces what advice do we have for Pisces in love what is the advice a year from now okay a year from now you'll probably be very very happy the answer is yes Whatever questions that you have, whatever concerns that you have, whatever is on your mind, Pisces, the answer is yes. I feel like this person wants you to say yes. Yes, you'll go out. Yes, you'll spend time. Yes, you'll give them your number, you know. They just want a yes. Pisces is up to you 
Definitely. It is up to you. You have free will if you're going to take advantage of this situation or not. And of course, because you have free will, you can change the course of this situation at any time as well. Um, so, Pisces, this interaction is totally up to you. How you deal with it. And no matter what, I feel like you're recovering. You're recovering, but you're making it. You'll be fine. Choose a new direction. Exactly. And I feel like that's what you're doing with this chariot card. I feel like you're choosing a new direction. You're going on a new path. You're taking a new journey. Um, and I feel like this person is going to take you on the ride of your life. If you believe. You'll be going on the ride of your life if you believe. Yeah. What do you have to say no to? What is going on that you have to say no? You know? Are you going to take time to believe the situation? Or are you going to turn it away? Are you going to disregard it? Are you going to disregard this emperor? This new love? You have almost every card of love in the deck. So new love is definitely coming. It's definitely coming. You know, and the answer is, are you going to accept it, Pisces? And I believe you will because these changes that you're making within yourself are making you more heightened. The, your awareness is more heightened. You know, your ability is more heightened. Pisces is the most intuitive sign in the horoscope. It is the most intuitive. So, Pisces, whether you know it or not, your intuition runs high. Okay, we have Oceana. Take action, Pisces. You are in touch with your truth in this situation. And you need to trust your guts and lovingly assert yourself. Yeah, make a move. Make your move, Pisces. Your intuition is working. You have Caressa. You are at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon your angels to co comfort you and to guide you into the next step. Happiness awaits you now. So whatever's coming next is going to make you happy. It's going to make you more content. It's going to, you know, you just have to be open to it, willing to accept it. You have to be open and available to love. You also have mystique. Keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. Pisces. Okay. No, I don't know if you're expecting this or not, Pisces. I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. Yeah, so this person that you're meeting, they may have children. I don't know if you want children, if you have children, or what's in the plans for you, but this person that you may meet may have children. So that may be a question for you. That may be something that you want to take a look at. But Pisces, this is your reading. And if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And if it doesn't resonate, take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Um, usually... 
during a retrogrades the um, I find that the rising sign is more clarifying than the sun sign but hey that's up to you <clears throat> Pisces happy new year many blessings to you love and light